Introducing side by side, the iPad app that provides you the best split screen multitasking experience. It turns your iPad into several iPod touches working in parallel. You can open up to four windows, tap the switch button, and you can get four ways to arrange the windows. You can make it small, so it will cover a quarter of the screen. In this way, you can get four windows. You can also expand it horizontally, or vertically. If you just want to be very focused on one task, you can set it to full screen. Later you can shrink it back to a small window. By dragging the center point, you can fine tune the relative size of each window. You can also change the background. For example here we are going to change the first window to black color. Inside each window, you can do three kinds of things. Web browsing, note taking and file reading. Now we have four web browsers, we can surf the internet and look at four websites at the same time. Like, here we can go to apple.com. In this window we can open a news website like New York Times. In the third one, you can check your Facebook updates. In the meantime, you can also keep an eye on your email inbox. Now I am going to introduce the notes function. You can switch one window into notes mode, where you can write some text notes. For example, here we can generate a to-do list. You can type something here, for example, make a video clip. You can also easily create a note from something you find interesting from the web. For example, here you got some important information in the email inbox. You can copy the text and tap notes. Create a new note from clipboard. You can easily email your note to your friends or yourself for backup. When you find an interesting website, you can tap the start button and add a star to it. Next time you can find it easily. If you have too many stars, you can also search by some keywords. If you find an interesting web page, say a news article, you can download the web page. Tap the star icon, download, and save. Now you have saved the file and later you can read it offline. You can switch one window into the files mode. Tap the files cabinet, you can find the file you just downloaded. Now you can read it, even if you don't have internet. If you are midway through it and have to read it next time, you can insert a bookmark here. Tap the star and the add bookmark button, and then bookmark. Next time you can return to where you left off still by tapping the star. So here we tap this bookmark, and then we are back to the place where we add this bookmark. If you like this article, you can tap the star and then like it. So when you are looking for the file, you can find it more easily by tapping the show star button. If you really have a lot of files, you can search your file as well. And the file downloading function is not limited to web pages. You can download all kinds of files as long as they are available from the internet. For example, PDF files, office documents. So these are the basic functions of side by side. There are a lot more interesting features, and I am sure that you will like it. To get this app, please visit the App Store from an iPad and search side by side. Here are some screenshots showing more features and what you can do with this app.